In this video, we'll talk about how to get things actually being interactive in our SCG. So for now, we're going to be focused on creating those rollovers. So right now on my page, no rollovers, but I do have the SVG loaded. Uh, again, if you haven't watched the video yet, you should go back and watch the setting up your page for an interactive SVG video, um, because then that'll go through how we loaded it onto the page. Now, when I do load it onto the page this way, I don't get the little jelly bean here at the top with um, the SVG. I do have to go file, open, and then open the SVG itself. So here's my SVG. I've done just hit enter in a few spots just to make it easier to read. Um, I do have a style block. Now all my bones are styled the same. So there is just one class for um, all of those elements. Um, so to make a rollover, all I'm going to do is come within this style block, use my pseudo tags like we've done in, with links before. So we've used a colon link and a colon hover, those sorts of things. Only I'm going to, instead of a link, because these aren't links, I'm going to refer to this ID name. So if I want to be able to roll over the femur, I'm going to target that element with the ID name, making sure I spell it all right, and then put a colon and then hover. So what we're saying here is we want to, when we hover on the femur, um, and then I'm going to open up my curly brackets. And in here, we're going to say, what do we want to do when we're hovering over it? So in this case, we want to change the fill color. So it's not background color or something like you would see with a div. It is fill. Um, and I could use either uh, a hex number like you see up here, or I could use one of those keywords. So maybe I want it to be tomato colored. So if I save that and then look at my page, now I have a hover on that particular bone. Um, and that is tomato color, apparently. Okay, so then, oops, if I want to do the rest of my elements, I just go through that same process. So um, I go, okay, I also want to be able to target the patella, and I've changed something about the hover. And then again, I do fill and whatever color I want to change it to. Now, um, you will notice I don't need to do like an unhover or something. So if I were to come in here and do the way that we did mouse over and mouse down in class, then you actually have to have, um, you know, reset it back. Here, it's just a hover, so you don't need to do that. Um, well, it was probably obvious to you watching this, but I accidentally put two colons here, so I'll just remove that one and save it which would be why it wasn't working. Um, so now I should be able to go look at it and there I've got a hover on that now and a hover on that. Okay, um, so you just go through and continue that process with all of the bits that you want to be hoverable. Um, and then uh, in the next video, we're gonna talk about, okay, how do we make these clickable now?